that's gonna stay, but... <laughs> it took me a while to go through all the vlogs that we were behind on me commenting on. And yes, I didn't have to go back and comment on everything, but you guys know me. I did. <laughs> and we had so many people who, uh, who, who came out to, uh, to support us and, you know, I we just, were going through this. Yeah, and, just reading the comments again and, and so emotional, yeah. so emotional. And we just, we just want to thank you all so very much from the bottom of our hearts. And I want to say, you know, AdSense took away our opportunity to make money with, with them, which we are going to continue to fight, but we are going to vlog on one way or another. But we are not going to let them take away our community that we do. Yeah, no kidding. No, we're not going to do that. And um, one way or another, uh, we're going to keep vlogging um, for you guys and for us. And we hope you guys continue to follow along with us, whether we stay as the neighbors or have to go to a new channel. And the band's getting back together. <laughs> yes, the band is getting and back since together. We're not, and since we're not monetized, we can actually play whatever we want and play it on uh, YouTube because uh, we don't have to deal with copyright issues. That's nanner, correct. Nanner, nanner, nanner. <laughs> That's correct. So, but we have a list of new subscribers. They might not um, be new. They, they may have been following us for a while, but they, they've never commented before. Um, so, when someone comments, we always welcome them to the neighborhood. So, here we go. BK94541. Welcome. Oops. <laughs> my ears off on that one. Don't, don't get so excited. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> RV Guru. Welcome to the neighborhood. Vanessa Hensley. You and your two-year-old child. Welcome to the neighborhood. Jessica M. Welcome to the neighborhood. Madison Ryan, welcome to the neighborhood. Aren't I doing good so far? I haven't had to have his help on one name yet. Colleen Crawford, welcome to the neighborhood. Steve Pig, welcome to the neighborhood. Mel Mel Hallis, welcome to the neighborhood. Eileen 30022, welcome to the neighborhood. Simply Twee, welcome to the neighborhood. And Trick City 09, welcome to the neighborhood. Yay! You got through it all. Ha! Stop going. <laughs> okay, and I know it's been a while, but the last trivia question I asked way back when. If you could keep only five possessions, not including family and pets, what would you choose? Angie Lupus Life. Cell phone, sketchbook, pack of pencils, pencil sharpener, and an eraser. Can you tell Angie likes art? Destiny Swan. She wasn't sure if I meant like five things because there was like a tornado or something coming or what. So, <laughs> if so, five things she would pick. Photo albums, laptop, important papers, bag of clothes, and some food. Now, if it was for the rest of her life, she would keep her car. Tanya Longley. First, I would keep a wand that someone very special gave me. Second, my phone, can't live without that, and phone charger. I have a very special picture of my mom and dad I would have to have. Might be a bit much, but I would have to have my porcelain doll collection. Now, I knew Tanya in high school, and she had a huge porcelain doll collection then. <laughs> so, I can only imagine how big it is now. Scott and Jenny, their home, their computers, food, car, and money. Terry Johnson, my childhood Bible, wedding album, wedding ring, engagement ring, 
and laptop computer. The first four I would say for sentimental reasons, the last one for communication device. Proudest Mama 77, iPad, iPhone, chargers included, books, my crochet stuff and all my blankets I've made and all my jewelry because I have a few necklaces that belong to my great grandmother and grandmother that have since passed and rings, bracelets and necklaces with mine and my two wonderful child's birthstones. Great question, Nato, as always. Thank you. Crimson Fairy. My friends, my books, my pictures, my house, and my artwork. Cold Today. My Bible, my guitar, my favorite blanket, my hammock, and my Star Trek Next Generation action figure set. Wow. I'm going to get you together with Crimson Fairy. <laughs> I love my singing monsters. Power generator that lasts forever. I think everybody would like that. That'd be nice. Phone charger. Wi-Fi. Refrigerator full of food. And a computer. Luke and Cassie. Computer, camera, house, person, photos. Hey. Cool it. You're giving me a headache. Lord Gear Now, my Kindle Fire, its charger, the Wi-Fi setup, my outdated flip phone, okay, and my County Mouth Challenge ribbons. I guess you're pretty good at math. So that's pretty good. What what would be five things that you would? Uh... <sighs> I would say I would um, keep the computer. The, the powerful one that we have for vlogging. Um, my phone, not that I use it very often. Um, my drum set, because it's worth quite a bit of money. Also, I have the, oh, well, I gotta have Barfly Bob in the bar. And Bones is family, so I can't include him. My truck. There you go. What I would keep, I would pick our house and everything that's in it. <laughs> That's cheating. That's cheating. Because you, you made everybody pick just five things. And ah! I mean, it's easy to say, oh, my house full of everything. Okay. Um, I would just pick, okay, my Daryl Dixon stuff. <laughs> Are you listening to this? Gotta woman? have my Daryl. My Daryl Dixon stuff, my polar bear stuff. Um, Your friend's DVD collection. <laughs> Well, not just my friends. Can I say all my series DD, DVD collections? Whatever. Just, just all my finish. series DVD collections. Um, and a DVD player. That's four. And pictures. That's five. I'd like to give a great big shout out to a very special friend of ours, Melody Mainville, Mom's Vlog 80. She designed, created, and set up a t-shirt fundraiser for us and the shirts are simply amazing I, I love the shirts and we are putting links to um, purchase the shirt in purchase a shirt in every video that we are doing um, the shirts are available for I think 18 more days it was only a 20 days thing so for Every day until the shirts are no longer available, we will put a link up in case anybody is interested in purchasing that shirt. We are going to change our icon to be the picture of what the shirt is. So if anybody wants to see what the shirt looks like, that will be it. And we want to thank everybody who has sent us all that money yes. that you sent us. And people who are buying shirts and donating money that way. Unbelievable. We don't even know if you can afford it, but uh, it's, it's really, really appreciated. Yeah. And, uh, we can't thank you guys enough for everything you guys are doing for us. And we'll try and to make some really cool stuff. Real cool. We will. Okay. Right, <laughs> 
My question for today is, what is the worst movie that you had to sit through with a friend or family member? <laughs> I'll have to pick from quite a few. Yeah, I have to pick through quite <laughs> through. I have a few to pick through, too. Anyway, it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit. Wrong. Meet, meet. It's meet, meet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, days ago, we asked a question. It was about the uh, Tim Burton movie Sleepy Hollow, 1999. One of my faves. It's got uh, Tim Burton, or it has Johnny Depp and Christopher Christina Ricci, and uh, Christopher Lee is actually in it. I want to talk about him a little bit mm. later. There are three Sith Lords in this movie, and one and another person who is in Star Wars, Ray Park, who, uh, who plays Darth Maul in the first, uh, the first one, Phantom Menace, I think it was. Um, you never see him in uh, Sleepy Hollow because he was a stunt double. Okay, Christopher Lee, again, uh, played Darth Tyrannus, and Ian McDiarmid played Darth Sidious. Uh, Rob Inch also is one of the uh, these uh, stunt doubles, and he was in a, the Phantom Menace as well. And those who got that right is Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Greg Myers, Bambi S, and Cole Today. Now, a couple of days ago, uh, probably one of the biggest and best actors in horror sci-fi history died at the age of 93. He died on June 7th. I think we only heard about it just a couple of days ago. Um, he was 93 years old. Nearly 70 years as an actor. He's been doing it since the, the mid-40s. Um, he's been in everything important. James Bond movies, everything in Hammer. Uh, theater Hammer uh, Studios. He's the Lord of the Rings. He's been in Star Wars. Anything and everything Tim Burton did, I think he showed up in. The question is, in his probably this most famous horror film from Hammer Studios was The Horror of Dracula, 1958. How much did he get paid for making that movie? 58. 1958. $58. Oh. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight, guys. You are all a part of our neighborhood community and always will be. We love you all. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> we love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.